Hello everyone, this is Iqbal Khan. I have been off my YouTube channel for over a year now and a lot has happened in that time. I will put the information in the description box and not bore you all on camera. I have not worked on the trees during this period. Very little work has been done and there's a lot to do this summer and I'll be catching up. To start with, today I'll be working on two of my yew trees and we will catch up shortly. So stay tuned. Hey, it's me, Iqbal Khan. If you have not yet subscribed to Mick Bonsai, then click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to subscribe and receive notifications as I upload new videos. Hello everyone, this is the first of the yew trees and I'll give it a quick turn so you can see it from all sides. And that is my front. Uh, the tree has been sitting there on the benches for a number of years and last 12 months I just did very very little work and today I'm going to repot it and then also give it a prune and uh, bring it back into shape and encourage it to back bud. They do back bud and uh, try and get this thing moving again. So we'll catch up shortly. To start with, I'm going to release these uh, wires. It's badly done, very loose, this wire. And then also do the same with this one and cut them back to make it easier for the tree to be taken out of the pot. That's that one. And we'll do the same with this side. There we are. That's come out quite easily. And I'll pop it here for a moment. It's very root bound and it does need sorting out. So I will get started and we'll catch up shortly. As you can see the tree is out of the pot and I've made a start. It's a very slow process. The tree is very very badly root bound. Should have been repotted when I first got it but here we are but we are where we are and I have to get on with it it'll take quite some time and I will press on with it and we'll catch up a bit later it's very very sort of difficult to work with the roots are everywhere and I'll probably remove a fair amount of the roots today I am now at the tail end of uh, tidying up and I've uh, managed to create a nice little root ball and uh, just remove some of these loose roots and we will have a root ball that fits into the pot with uh, plenty of new soil. I'll just tidy these roots up and then we are virtually ready to start putting it back in its pot. I'll remove these thick roots, they're not doing anything. Just tidy up, that's all that this is about now. Okay, so we continue with the tidy up this side until it's all done. Mm. 
Moving over to inside, so my left hand is out of the camera shot. I think that should really do. I'm going to tidy up and uh, we'll catch up then. But this is what the root ball looks like at the moment. There's a lot of mess here, so I'll clean up and we'll catch up shortly. I have cleaned up and this is the root ball that I'm left with and it'll fit in nicely into the pot with plenty of room for it to grow. We'll go back the other way and that was my front and I'll put this to one side for a moment and bring the pot over. I've prepared the pot, wired it all up, there it is and uh, also the wire meshes are in and uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is put some horticultural grit at the bottom and then on top of the horticultural grit will go the bonsai soil mix like that And if you want to see how the pot is prepared, I've got a video link to one of the videos which shows how that is done. And also there's another link which shows how to make the bonsai soil mix. And I will ease that in, see where it sits. That's a little bit more to about there. And what I'm then going to do is put the uh, chicken pallets in and then cover these up with a very thin layer of bonsai soil mix so they're not directly in contact with the roots but as the roots go through this layer there's plenty of fertilizer for them that should do and we will now put the tree into the pot Just adjust it to make sure that it's exactly as I want it. Yep, that's fine. I'll now secure it with this wire. And same thing with the other side. Let the plane go. I'm securing the wires very very lightly and uh, we will do the final tightening once the tree is in and as is the bonsai soil. So I'm going to just tighten it very very lightly for now. And we'll continue with the topping up of the soil. So I'm now continuing with the topping up of the soil. A bit more. I'll carry on with this and we'll catch up shortly. I'm continuing with the chopsticks to drive the soil into the roots where we've removed the soil. And I'll carry on with this. It's a slow process and we'll catch up when I start tightening the wires after this process has been completed. I have finished tightening the wire on the other side and this is also virtually nearly done. And I will now I will now remove the excess wire 
and bury the rest of it into the soil. That's it, that's done. And add a little bit more soil and then thoroughly water it. Well, it needs a thorough soaking, so there we go. And after this, I'll let it uh, drain and then take it back to the workstation where I've been working and uh, give it a good prune. It hasn't been touched for a good few years and uh, does need a good sort out the branches and the foliage to basically control it and improve the ramification. These trees are quite easy to look after and care for and uh, also not too difficult in terms of pruning and uh, general maintenance. The repotting was long overdue and I think perhaps it was due when I acquired it a few years ago. Never mind, it's better late than never. So I'm going to leave it like that for a little while and uh, let it completely drain and then we'll take it back to work on. I've thoroughly watered the tree and uh, now I'm going to place this marker at the front to sort of indicate the front. So that's there and I'll give it a quick turn. I'm going to look down the tree and remove all the downward facing branches. Here's one, this one, so this will come off. And I'm going to repeat this process throughout the tree and uh, we'll catch up shortly. I'm also going to remove branches such as this one. This is going straight up. So this one here is going straight up, so I'm going to remove it from where it starts. <clears throat> In the process of uh, removing the downwards facing branches, I'm also going to remove any branches which are growing straight up. Here's a good example of a branch that is growing straight up. So I'll cut, remove it right from where it starts. And there we are, that's that one. And now it's, it can, creates more of a pad here. Here's another branch going straight down so that will come off and then these branches will be reduced to this long one. As firstly I'll tackle this, this one. I'll reduce it to about there being around four to six of needles like that and also I'll go in uh, so I'm not cutting the needles, but a clean cut. So now we'll tackle this one. And that's how it ends up. And also reduce this one to about there. And this, this one will be again reduced. This one over here. By pruning like this, it improves the ramification as the tree back buds. And these branches were getting rather long, so I will continue to reduce them quite considerably.
Now this again is growing southward, so we'll remove that. So on this branch, there are three branches, one either side and then one in the middle, like that. And then these two, I'm going to shorten them to about there. And this will again improve the ramification and we'll have a lot more foliage. And I will continue with this and I'll record as uh, I come across things of interest to show. Now I thought I'd show you this branch here. I'm going to shorten these two as before and uh, that's that one done. And now with this branch I'm going to remove these needles by pulling them in the direction in which they are growing and that will encourage back budding. So I'll remove all that and I expect new growth from back here. Now this branch here, I'm going to remove this middle branch. Also remove this one growing downwards and shorten these sideways branches, that and this one to there. And these needles, I'm going to remove them by pulling them in the direction in which they are growing and this will help with the back budding and improve ramification and also the foliage. It takes a good few years to uh, have good ramification and foliage. I've nearly finished pruning and during the pruning process where the needles are on these branches like this one, I have removed them by pulling them in the direction in which they are growing, like this. And this will result in backbiting along here. Well, there we are, it's all done. And I'll give it a quick turn. That's the front. And uh, just give it a turn so you can see it from all sides. I'm expecting this to back bud and create a lot more foliage from where I've pruned and uh, for the foliage to really fill up. It does take a few years and as I said I've just made a start this year. Previously it should have been done but unfortunately for various reasons it couldn't. I will be keeping this tree in complete shade for the next three weeks and after that it'll be brought back into full sun. That's all for now folks. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London. Until the next time. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to subscribe and receive notifications as I upload new videos.